you are the reason why you're stuck sis sometimes our eyes are blurred to our own successes i'm not putting a dent on myself or staining my whites because of you fear will creep in and tell you the outcome before you even try <laughs> so hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here girl my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribed we have a good time on this channel we are going to talk about lessons that i've learned in my 20s i can comfortably say that right now because i am a few months away into my 30s and i can't even believe that my 20s is about to come to an end and i feel like this is the perfect time to talk about everything that i have gained every knowledge i have picked up all the mistakes i have made this video is going to be a little bit vulnerable because i want to share everything Thing. like i want to really get into the nitty-gritty of things i want to hit the nail on the head i want to speak about everything that have completely shaped me and have prepared me for my 30s and not just the generic things but we're going to get into the deep stuff the emotional stuff the mental stuff i think is more on the mental stuff so without further ado let's just jump right into the video now the first thing i want to talk about is fear fear is number one on this list for me because it's literally the one thing that held me back from so many great things in my life fear appeared in different aspects of my life i'm telling you from achieving my goals getting up taking the risk to do stuff to my health to my mental the major reason why so many things affected me the way they affected me why so many things didn't go the way they were meant to go why i had a lot of hiccups and obstacles along the way is because of fear fear is just an illusion it's made of proof of things that are actually non existent things that are not real you fear things that you've fabricated you've made it as proof it's real to you it is not real it's not how it is it is not how your situation is going it's not who you are so you just fear what you have made up in your head that it is so but in reality it is not i've had fear show up in my life in so many ways by self-sabotaging by low confidence by not taking risks not doing things that i intended to do i've always known that i was called to do not chasing dreams that i should have been chasing for me a long time ago because i was scared of so many Many things in a couple of my videos and also in the last vlog that i posted i spoke about my biggest breakthrough for 2023 fear was the reason why i never touched on this area why i actually never went forward with the situation or why i actually never opened that chapter of my life or cleaned up that chapter of my life is because i was scared i was scared the whole of my 20s to visit a situation that i felt like was going to kill me you know a situation that i felt like had a huge role to play in my life i never cleaned that area up because i was so scared of cleaning it up i didn't start my my youtube channel on time because of fear i didn't start talking about self-care self-development self-improvement and all these other topics i'm talking about right now because of fear fear of judgment fear of not being enough fear of not knowledgeable enough fear of being looked at as stupid fear of being looked at as doing too much one thing i've learned about fear is once you don't go through with it once you don't deal with it once you don't attack it it will come back up in a different form the moment you escape it it will come back show up as something else in your life it could show up as insecurity you could show up as self-sabotage it could show up as low confidence it could show up as different things in your life as long as you don't attack it the moment you feel it in that situation that you feel it it will go low for that moment and then pop back up in some different form that could be the reason why your relationships with people are not working your money isn't right i had the fear of money for the longest time i've spoken about that a million times on this channel fear had me on a choke hold i wouldn't be able to move forward in life i wouldn't be able to take certain steps in my life because i was scared of the outcomes and that's one area that i really needed to tackle especially when i hit 25 2019 2020 when i was 25 26 was when i started recognizing fear in different aspect of my life when there will be different opportunities placed in front of me and i'm just not moving forward with this because i feel like i'm not qualified or i feel like i don't deserve it or i feel like i shouldn't be there that was fear showing up in different aspects where i would doubt myself one of the main reasons why i'm even still in hungary although hungary is a really beautiful country and it has opened so many doors for me i have grown in hungary and i actually love living here but one of the main reasons why i'm still here is because of fear why i'm here up until this point is because i've been so scared to 
to take the next step. I know that I want to leave. I know that I need to achieve more. I know that I want to, you know, be somewhere else. I need a new scenery. I need a new environment. And this is me being honest with you guys. Fear has just held me bound the whole of my 20s. You don't know the outcome of something until you actually try. Fear will creep in and tell you the outcome before you even try. Fear will begin to create scenarios in your head about how situations should go, how it would go when you have not even been in that situation before fear will begin to tell you that a lot of people are laughing at you or you're being judged in a situation or you don't have the capacity to do things or you're not qualified or it's not you it has to be somebody else that is fear a lot of us are embarrassed to admit that we're scared a lot of us are embarrassed to admit that fear is the reason why we are taking certain decisions or we're not even taking decisions in our lives and that's the reason why i'm going to advise you today if you've never looked into fear in your life i encourage you to start looking into fear today when you open up the topic of fear when you look into what's holding you back what's really the root cause of your issues you'd realize that fear is the demon it is the devil it is the one thing that has kept creeping in your head running around in circles in your mind changing your mindset changing your decisions once you recognize a little bit of fear in your life hold it attack it go through with it whether you feel the anxiety in your chest in your head in your stomach the little voice in your head is telling you that and the th go through with it either way that's one way i've been able to conquer fear in my life no matter how many scenarios gets played in my head no matter how how defeated I feel, no matter how scared, shivering, no matter how much anxiety is building up and fear and anxiety also go hand in hand. A lot of people don't know that. Once you're anxious, once you're dealing with anxiety, just know that fear is around the corner holding the hands of anxiety and trying to pull you down, but you're not going to let it. You will attack it. You will go through it no matter what you feel, how you feel, when you feel it. When you have those emotions, overwhelming emotions that you don't think you can pull through, do it either Way. that's the only way to beat fear you feel it acknowledge that you do feel it but ignore it and go through with it ignoring it doesn't mean that you're ignoring the feeling of fear it just means that you're not taking action it means you're literally going to do what you set out to do either way what's the worst that could happen the thing that you fear that is going to happen like it's not going to kill you okay even if it goes south even if yes your thoughts become validated you actually get judged you actually get laughed at you actually actually don't make the deal when you take the risk and move out of that country or move to a different apartment or try to leave alone even if you fail what's the worst that could happen you learn from the situation and you move forward you don't fail from learning you actually learn from failing so you have to fail to learn that thing you're so scared to go through with that thing that you're literally shielding trying to be in the comfortable spot is you limiting yourself to greatness you're at this spot that you are right now in life because you just don't want to get uncomfortable you don't want to get out of that bubble of yours because you feel like okay that's your safe space if you step out of it harm could come to you danger could come to you that's you limiting your success what is outside that four walls that you've boxed yourself in could be very beautiful but because you're so scared of stepping out of that box you've put in yourself you don't reach your greater self you don't move to the next step you're not building you're not growing you're not harvesting you're not reaping nothing you're just stuck fear is number one reason why a lot of us are stuck at the point that we are right now i've talked about fear for so long because fear fear is the devil now the next big lesson that i learned in my 20s is the fact that you don't see physical movements or changes in your life doesn't mean that you're not progressing you don't have to stop no let me say this again you should never stop the good work you're doing in your life just because you don't see physical movements or changes who this is a lot one thing i learned about life is when we don't see something when we don't have evidence of something that we're seeing in front of us we don't believe that it exists or we don't believe that it's worth it or we don't believe that something is being done once we don't see the movement when we don't see the physical change you might be working out for instance you're trying to achieve a body goal or a scale number right and you're putting in the work like let's say you're going to the gym every single day in a week and you're also on a diet but you don't see the changes you keep stepping on the scale and you just don't see the numbers moving you don't think the work you're putting in is even worth it or is even working there are certain situations that could 
be wrong with that you could actually not be moving like the numbers could not be changing you could actually not be losing the weight that you want or hitting the fitness target that could happen because of different factors maybe the kind of diet you're on is not good for your body or you have hormonal imbalance or you're not doing the right workouts in the gym right those are different situations but one thing that you should understand is regardless of you not hitting that goal or not seeing the numbers move there is progress in your life you're actually getting healthier there is work being done on your body inside you internally things are changing you might also not be seeing the physical movements or changes in your body because sometimes our eyes are blurred to our own successes and that's one thing that took a long time for me to understand in my 20s sometimes we might not be seeing changes or success in our lives but other people can even when people see it they might not actually mention it to you and that's not because they don't want to but people are actually people and sometimes people are not even happy about your progress so then they will not even mention it to you so because you don't see it people are not mentioning it to you you automatically assume that the good work you're doing in your life is yielding nothing i'm here to tell you that that's not the case if you're not even seeing physical changes which eventually you will let me just put that out there the fact you're not seeing the changes right now or the movement right now doesn't mean that you wouldn't eventually see it it might take you a while to see it sis you will see it. That's the first thing. The major thing you need to understand, you even starting that journey of doing better, feeling better, taking care of yourself, doing better with your life, growing, is progress enough? I feel like that's a disconnect I had for the longest time. The fact that I made the decision to start my channel, to start that business, to bring myself to the point where I'm vulnerable with people, to allow people come into my life, to let myself cry, to let myself be fragile in front of people, to let myself self-love again to give love a chance in my life that is progress enough and i never ever would give myself a tap on the shoulder for that progress for that decision being made in my life because i felt like the outcome of making that decision was more important than making the decision itself i need to make you understand something the fact that you made the decision to make that change in your life to do better to get more to grow is progress as important as the result from actually implementing those things in your life you reaching the number on that scale is as important important as you beginning the journey or making the decision to start the journey both as successes you started i'm proud of you that's a win you got the number i'm proud of you that's a win that is one thing that a lot of people need to start doing in their lives appreciate yourself for taking the step for even beginning the journey the moment you sit down to say i want to do this i will do this that is progress that is movement and changes in your life then when you start implementing the plan in your life that's amazing then when you finally achieve the goal amazing 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 stuff do not separate the journey apart they all come together they make the whole journey beautiful they make the goal worth it nothing good comes easy you can't start a journey today and then it just goes on the street like no because it is something that is so difficult for you to achieve you know where you're going to you have a goal and that goal is big and beautiful you don't expect it to just be laying around the corner you don't expect it to just come to you the day that you just say oh i want to get it and then it just comes to you that's not how it works you need to have to try to get it and when you're getting it, you have things that will come in between and try to pull you back and sometimes you will fall back that's okay you pick yourself back up you begin the journey again fresh new page that is progress the moment you do that one time two times three times you become immune to obstacles so no matter what attacks you in the middle you have the strength to keep going you have the strength to keep climbing when you start a difficult journey because it's so fresh to you because you're a beginner you're a newbie in that situation it's going to be harder for you to pull through right things will easily get to you it's easy for you to backslide the moment you jump over it you restart the journey over and over again you build tolerance you build threshold you build strength the moment you start again that last time you're going to hit the goal so it's always okay to backslide sometimes the third lesson that i learned in my 20s you are never stuck in a place unless you choose to stay there i'm gonna say this again you are never stuck in one place unless you choose choose to stay there there are so many reasons why you're choosing to stay at the position that you're staying right now one big reason is fear 
if you're stuck in a relationship that you know you're not supposed to be in you're probably scared of you know what is out there what the dating pool looks like scared of being single again not finding the right person or scared of not finding somebody better than who you're with right now that you know you're not supposed to be with i'm gonna say this one more time you are never stuck in a place in a position in a situation in an event in your life unless you are choosing to stay in that position if you make the decision to move trust me you will move a lot of us feel like we don't have the capacity to do things we feel like i can't do this i don't have it in me you have it in you okay no matter how stiff things might be around you and no matter how resources can seem stiff or slim or narrow you have the capacity within you to do what you're meant to do we all know what we're supposed to do to move us from point a to point b but we don't do it it might be too difficult it might be a huge decision it might just be a huge move it might be a huge change it might be overwhelming it might just be crazy for you to think of but you know what you're supposed to do to move from point a to point b as you're listening to me right now you know what i'm talking about all you need to do is sit and figure it out you are only at this position because you want to be there and that's me being brutally honest with you you're with that man because girl you want to be there you're in that friendship because you want to be there you're choosing to be there and sometimes if i'm being fair you might subconsciously or unconsciously be choosing to be in a position i have been there done that so i understand where you might not know that you're the one choosing to stay there i hope as you're hearing me today this makes a lot of sense you can make the decision tomorrow to not want to deal with that situation and you would have it out the window in like 2.2 seconds if you don't like where you are right now you could make the decision no matter how small to make progress change your life change your situation leave that situation leave that environment that's why i keep telling people when you're trying to change another human being that's you making a mistake that's you wasting your time because only people can make the decision to change themselves only the person in the situation that wears the shoes has the mind the head on their head can make the decision to change their mind their character their thinking themselves okay you're the only one that can make the decision to be different in your life and until you come to that realization you'll be stuck and that's the gospel truth until you tell yourself i am done with this situation i am done with this type of life i am done with the back and forth i am done with the craziness unless you put your foot down, nothing will change in your life. You are the reason why you're stuck, sis. Now, one of the biggest lessons I learned in my 20s is everybody's just winging it. Nobody has it figured out. I was having a conversation with my friend, I, th- I want to say yesterday. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. And we talked about this. A lot of people look and seem like they have it figured out. They know what they're doing. I also would give you that vibe or that energy just because I'm here talking to you about life or my Instagram looks a certain way or there are other influencers as well, or celebrities that have the same look. Like when you look at their lives, it just seems perfect. One thing I learned and I learned the hard way because I had to be faced with people that I thought were further ahead, you know, of me in life or, you know, had things figured out. I had to literally see them eyeball to eyeball to learn certain things because you place people on a pedestal that they are not even close to. Just because you are insecure about your own life or you feel like you're not there yet, you see somebody else that seems to have a little bit more or calmer than you or isn't reacting to things the way you react to things, you assume they have it figured out i don't know what they're doing they don't know what they're doing (laughs) they don't know what they're doing there is no guide there is no book where you need to read to know how to deal with life or how to live life or how to stay alive in this our current age and day or whatever it's called there is no book there is no manual there is nothing that's the reason why you should never compare yourself to anybody you should never place people in the spot where they've not placed themselves me i'm human and i struggle with you know comparing myself sometimes or you know comparing my situation my life my money my bag my career all of it with other people's life that on the internet struggling to survive the way i'm struggling to survive i'll compare myself i'm human right when i come in contact with people when i have conversations with people when i see people like i meet them sit with them I realized that they are placing me in a spot that I'm not. They are placing me in a box that I'm not. They see me like someone who has all the answers sometimes. I have learned so much. So I appreciate when people come to me and ask me for advice or for help on different things. But it's the other part of it. They just assume that my life is perfect. And then I'm looking at them as well and I'm like, I thought 
you are better <laughs> you know like the same people i'm looking at and i'm just like you're doing well you're doing better than me you haven't figured out that same people coming to me asking me for stuff thinking that i'm living the perfect life and i think they're living everybody is winging it nobody has it figured out people are literally just living each day as it comes trial and error every single day you are there beating yourself up about someone on the internet that looks like everything is perfect in their lives nothing is perfect no one is perfect nobody's life is perfect when you get there you figure it out when you get there you will know when you get married you will know how to figure it out a lot of people that ask questions to like married people how can you do this how can you do this you're asking someone yes that i've done it before but everyone's journey is everyone's case is different when you reach your own turn you will know how to figure it out everything you go through in life every encounter you have every experience you have is an opportunity for you to learn and grow that's why you have to live your life like you know you're in school major thing to take out from this point is is don't you ever look at somebody like they're superior they can do much more than you can you can also do whatever it is that you think that person is doing in whatever capacity that they are you're equal to the task you have the capabilities in you if you want it go ahead and get it you are as deserving of that thing or that situation or that life next lesson i learned which i feel like a lot of people need to hear i need to keep talking about no matter how tired you are of hearing me say this i'm gonna keep saying this so Someone who has made the decision, they love you, they like you, they want you in their life, right? They will make the effort to definitely be in yours. That way you both can be in each other's life. I say this to say it is not worth it to chase anybody. And when I say chase anybody, most of the time it is usually referred to men and relationships, romantic relationships. I am talking about friends. I'm talking about family. I'm talking about anybody in general or anything in general when something is meant for you it is for you when someone is meant for you they are for you when someone is meant to be in your life you will see the effort and they would be in your life there is no need to chase people there is no need to chase things that is not even chasing you back chasing is not what we do the reason why they're not making the effort or why it just keeps breaking off here and there you guys cannot seem to get it right is because you're not meant to be in each other's life and that is completely okay i've had striking situations in my life that i really needed to sit with myself and ask why are you letting this bother you so much why are you trying so hard to have this person in your life when they clearly don't care about being in yours do you think if god really wanted both of you in each other's life is going to be this difficult Cold. I've been in the situation where I was the one doing the chasing. It came to a point where I needed to ask myself, are you actually okay? Did you finally get yourself in this person's life? What next? You will always be the one inserting yourself in their lives. At the end of the day, it's a waste of your time. Someone who truly wants you in their life will make the effort to be in your life. Point blank period another lesson i learned in my 20s is you know that gut feeling that you feel in your chest in your stomach sometimes in your head you know that unsettling feeling in different situations where you just feel like you know what's going to happen or you can kind of piece it together in your head or there's just something that is striking about that one particular direction or one particular piece in a situation you just kind of sense stuff you get the energy you get the vibe you feel it yeah that's your intuition and you should always always listen to it a lot of times when we have this feeling we discard it as you know anxiety or sometimes fear or sometimes we're just like oh you're thinking too much you're overthinking sometimes you know i would do that to myself i'll be like yeah you're about to you know ruin it with your thoughts and that's valid i'm just gonna say that that's valid because sometimes being an overthinker is a problem sometimes you begin to think about things that you shouldn't be thinking about but sometimes you just have this feeling you just have this feeling that someone is going to disappoint you you're in a relationship and there is just a particular name or a particular individual that keeps coming up between you and your partner all the time they keep trying to make light of it but then you kind of feel it you know what i mean you have that gut feeling you just know that something isn't right in that situation and surrounding that person there's something to look into right there yeah it's your intuition and you should always listen to it because it will never stare you wrong and listening to your intuition doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be drastic about it like you don't have to even action it you just need to investigate it or look calmly subtly into the situation but you don't have to go wild and crazy i feel like where people miss the mark or miss the point is when they have that gut feeling they just go ham like if, oh that was loud <laughs> jesus like accusing somebody of something that you don't have facts to you should use your gut 
or your intuition to gather evidence and to gather facts and make sure that you're indeed correct before you action something when there is something that is staring you to a direction you should know why especially when it's lingering you could have certain feelings and it could just you know mellow down or go away but when it's reoccurring when it's lingering there's a reason why it's lingering if that makes sense how your vibe is around certain people what you're getting what you're feeling you should always take note of those things as a human being because a lot of the issues that you might have dealt with or you're going to deal with or the situations that you've been in negative situations i mean you could have actually saved yourself from those situations if you actually just followed your intuition this is a huge one that i learned in my 20s and i'm going to explain why you're going to see why you won't always get the recognition or the praise that you think you deserve in different situations but don't let that stop you from doing your best work or giving in your best or keep going or putting in your spice your juice your ginger and all of that in those situations i work a corporate job in nine to five if you know anything about corporate especially being a black woman you know that there are certain situations where you completely be ignored you'd be silenced you'd be drained and honestly it's not just nine to five i'm using nine to five because that's my personal experience that's one major area in my life that i just feel like i should point out but it could manifest in different ways could also be doing content creation if you were trying to be a youtuber and you just keep putting in the work but you don't think you're getting recognition that you think you deserve it doesn't equate the amount of work that you're putting in could also be in a relationship and in this relationship aspect you could feel like your partner doesn't see you or they don't appreciate you it feels like you're breezing through that relationship and they're not really seeing seeing you that shouldn't stop you from being the sweet angel that you are should you still be in that situation absolutely not but that shouldn't stop you from being who you are the sweet nice person that you are loving person that you are in your next relationship that's what i mean i know it's very painful i know it's hurtful trust me i've been in different situations where i honestly cannot fathom how i'm ignored because i put on the work i put in the energy like everything is just me you know and i'm not getting what i think i deserve i've cried so many times i have tried to rebel so many times which i would definitely say that that's not a good way to go through it no need to rebel no need to make a force your win is coming your reward does not lie in the hands of men your reward lies in heaven the reason why you're even able to add value in that capacity is because you're blessed and there's a reason why it's you if it wasn't special or peculiar to you everyone else will have it the fact that people don't appreciate you doesn't take away the fact that you are still special let them miss out on you i say this all the time let them miss out on you the younger me would always try to match people's energy like if you're bad to me then i have to be bad to you if you don't recognize me i wouldn't recognize you if you don't speak to me i wouldn't speak to you now the thing is i'm not gonna match your energy if i feel like i don't want to speak to you that is not because you're not speaking to me because i don't want to speak to you that makes sense i wouldn't match your bad energy you are acting weird you're playing games i'm not playing the game with you play the game by yourself and if that floats your boat by all means do so i'm not going to absorb your bad character and dent my own good character and my good image just because i'm trying to match your energy i'm not putting a dent on myself or staining my white because of you that's everything that i want to share in this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section i have my socials linked in the description box below my instagram and my tiktok thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye those of you that are listening in your car at your job and you at home i don't care where you at turn this up right now because we're about to go in hey so step in